Miko, it was still 1-1 heading into the third. What changed in that third period for you guys? Uh, I think we didn't change anything. We just stick our plan, play the how we play, trust it our system and that's it. When you see someone like Logan Shaw come out with the hat trick, it's no surprise there because he's so consistent. What makes him so reliable? Uh, how he like acts all the time, every day, how he does things in the practice, games, before games, like I can see he's the true leader. What were some of your biggest takeaways from the big road trip? I think like our, that was really good. I, team building group. We had a lot of time together. We spent a lot of, we played a lot of cards, like things like that, went bowling, and we just like built our trust and uh, team energy, I can say that. Do you feel like that stuff can translate well on the ice? Oh yeah, when like uh, we can trust each other, we know what everything's doing, everybody is doing like everything they can. I think that's the thing. After that first goal on Hildeby, what does it say about him that he's able to just come back and play well the rest of the game? It's amazing like how he does that. We can always trust him. He's so big, big player for us and happy to have him. He even tried to go for the goalie goal. What would have been like to see him get that? Oh, I was all the time like, go for it. Like, don't even think anything else. If you have a chance, you have to go for it. One more question. Cameron Gaunt's hit the 800 game mark here in the AHL. How would you describe him as a teammate? Uh, he's like a veteran. I can say he knows everything. He knows every player. He knows a lot of like plays. And he's just like fun to watch. And I can learn a lot of from him. Like he knows so much. So it's nice to have a teammate like that. So I can like learn things from him. Cameron, I'll start with today's game. You guys were still tied 1-1 heading into the third. How did you guys explode so much in the third? You know what, I think we had the chances prior to that. It was just a case of we put it in. Um, I think what we kind of learned about ourselves over that road trip is we've got a lot more mental toughness than we gave ourselves credit for. So the sick intuitiveness of our group tonight, the kind of perseverance was something that shone through. And I think that's going to be key moving forward because again, experience is only good if you take something from it. And I think the experience we've had late in, late in games this year uh, this is something that kind of we were hoping to be able to accomplish. And I thought we did that tonight. Obviously, you have a fair amount of experience in the AHL. You hit the 800 game mark today. What was that like for you to have that experience? I, it was wonderful. Um, you know, uh, being able to have my wife at the game tonight too was it, it was great. Like th I've had a few uh, milestones in my career, but to be able to have it with her and share it with her and then share it with this group like. When you're on a PTO, you, you don't know how the group is going to take you. Again, you hope they're going to treat you well, but you're trying out. You're trying to take a job, essentially. But from the coaching staff to the support staff to the players, I've felt nothing but welcome here. So to be able to share an experience like that with this group, it, it means a lot. Um, so throughout the night, I was trying to block it out, um, but we've got some supportive teammates and staff who were kind of talking about it during the game. But um, it's just a special night, something that... Uh, I'll remember for a long time. Speaking of supporting teammates, Miko Kokonen just said he knows everything when talking about you. What do you feel like you can really contribute this season as we continue? I don't think that helps with my uh, know-it-allness. I, I tend to be known as that, so that doesn't help that. Um, I think I'm just trying to contribute what I can. You know, When you're someone like myself, um, you need to get in where you fit in, figure out what part of the team you can help where you can help, uh, how you can help. And not only that's not only game days, that's practice days, that's travel days. And I think with someone like Miko, like you, you see his physical attributes. You see the skills that he has that like for instance I, I don't have. So I try to help with just little things here and there, whether it's positivity, whether it's just little details about the game that I might have experienced that he hasn't yet. And honestly a, a lot of it's just work ethic, trying to show that it's a night in, night out league and a guy like Miko, he's he does it day in, day out. Um, so I, I just try to help in any way I possibly can with this group. Dennis Hildeby let that first one in, but after that, it was like he was a stone wall. Are you impressed with the ability where he can do that, especially at such a young age? Oh, absolutely. Like, there's a lot of players, goalies and players alike across every sport that something like that happens early on where he's upset with himself. Again, I think we could have done a better job supporting on that play, but nonetheless, here's a play he'd like to have back that would hang their lip. They would have the lip out, dragging it. And, but he has that 
again, to have another sport quote, uh, that closer mentality where mistake happens, got to have a goldfish memory and just move on. And he did an excellent job of that and just played his game. His stoicism in net is just, it's impressive. Robert Mastro Simone has had a big, like, I guess, few games, probably five or six. What stood out most about him as you've been with the team so far? I've used the term a couple times, so I apologize, but work ethic. Uh, I think Master was a guy who is just a dog on a bone, with and without the puck. Practice day, game day, again, I, something I mentioned already again, but in this league and in any league, how you practice, how you play, and he's a guy that's showing up day in, day out with that dog on a bone mentality of no one's going to beat him. There's only so many things you can control in this game, and one is your work ethic, and he controls it and gives absolutely everything he can. All right, John, what did you like about your team's ability to just keep plugging away until that third period opened up? Yeah, I, I thought um, I thought maybe we deserved a better fate of a score going into the third, but I think just give a credit to, I thought we got the, probably the most consistent effort from all four lines and six defensemen tonight. Um, and I think the score evened itself out, maybe a little bit more in our favor, but I think, again, we, we stuck to the process, and, um, and again, they got rewarded for it in the third period. How happy are you to see the defensemen coming up with some big goals? Yeah, I mean, I thought I thought Villeneuve came in and did a really good job. He, he's been out for a few games, um, and they, it's, it's always nice for them to get the offense, whether it's making that first pass or joining the rush. And you know, I thought they did a good job with their decision making and not trying to force things. And again, by doing that, they get rewarded. So it was good to see. Another huge game for the Zach Solo line. They just continually impress. What's your thoughts on them? Well, I mean, we started them for a reason. Um, we don't come out of that road trip with um, the record we did without that line. And again, I don't want us to single out, like, not like the other lines weren't doing their job, but, you know, they, they deserve that opportunity. And, you know, they keep getting better and better. They, they embrace what, what, they, what they're doing out there, and they know they bring energy. And, um, and it's contagious for the bench, so it's, it's good to see. And, you know, hopefully they keep that going. How much trust is Dennis Hill to be able to to build when he lets that first one in, but then comes back and just has a monster of a game? Yeah, I, I, again, um, he was outstanding. Like he looked comfortable, it didn't rattle him, and that's what I like about his game. And that he doesn't get too shaken. You know, um, you know, almost scored. He almost had a goal and assist, so it would have been perfect. So. What would your reaction have been if you saw a goalie goal tonight? Well, I was fortunate enough last year when I was in Boston, I saw Linus Allmark doing, so it was kind of a cool experience. Uh, but, uh, yeah, it would have been really neat. Of course, Shaw leads the way tonight, hat trick from the captain. What makes him so reliable on and off the ice? I think his game is, got, is getting better. I think he's doing a great job of being a, a really good leader. Um, he's playing. He's asked a lot, played penalty kill, power play and it's five on five minutes against top line, against good players. So um, I, I'm glad that he's getting rewarded because he is doing a lot of good things out there, and I'm just glad for him to get a, you know, get some points too to get rewarded for that. What have you seen from Roney since he's returned from injury? I thought it's been his best game. You know, it, it, it's, it was a lot to, to miss that much time and jumping in at this part of the season, but I, he continues to get better every game. I thought tonight was his best, so that's, that's positive moving forward. We were talking to Miko Kokonen and he talked about Cameron Gauntz and he, like Cameron knows everything about everything. What stands out most about him as he plays his 800th game? Well, it's just what he brings, uh, whether he's in the lineup, what he brings to the locker room, what he brings to the younger players, how he helps them and how he loves to like embrace and help them out. Like he really truly like pulls for his teammates. And again, I can see why he played 800 games and I told him he's got another 800 to go. So I don't know how that goes.